What is up? This is your LA in a Minute, and I've been waiting a long time to do the episode on the Parrots of Los Angeles. There are so many fun theories as to why they're here, and I had to do the research. So, let's get into it. So, there are at least 11 species of wild parrots right here in Los Angeles in at least 35 different communities. 10 of the species came from the jungles of Latin America, one came from India, and one from North Africa. So even though the parrots are all over Los Angeles, these pins represent the areas where they're most often found. Pasadena, Arcadia, Santa Monica, San Gabriel Valley, Brentwood, but really, they're everywhere. And by the way, a flock of parrots is called a pandemonium, which if you've ever been around these birds during sunrise or sunset, you'll know why. That squawking is high volume, and it really is, well, pandemonium. But look, if these beautiful birds aren't native to Los Angeles, then how did they get here? All right, so theory number one of how the parrots became wild in Los Angeles is kind of cool because it's actually verified. There were bird traders in the 40s and 50s who had accidents en route to their deliveries and let the wild-caught caged parrots free without really intending to. Now, another theory is that in 1959, there was a shop called Simpson's Garden Tower Nursery on the east side of Pasadena that caught fire. And rather than watch 65 or 70 of these parrots burn, an injured employee with the help of firefighters actually released and freed as many of the birds as he could. Theory number three is that there was a theme park in Van Nuys called Bush Gardens, which closed in 1979 so they could expand the Anheuser-Busch Brewery. Now, they tried to place most of these birds in private homes, but the ones that they couldn't place, they simply let free. Now, another theory that holds weight is that in the 1980s, importing parrots was legal. Over 40,000 came to California alone during the decade. But as the species populations dwindled in their native countries, it became illegal. And smugglers are said to have released parrots to avoid being caught. Hmm. In fact, the importing of the birds was so destructive to their natural population in Mexico that there are more wild parrots in Los Angeles now than there are in the entire country of Mexico. All told, like any other transplant to L.A., they fell in love with the city. You can spot them almost everywhere, but remember, sunrise and sunset are the best times. And it's interesting to note that parrots are monogamous, and that's why you often see them coupled up. Regardless of how the parrots arrived in Los Angeles, they're now an integral part of the daily life of Los Angeles. So there are a ton of cool theories on why these parrots actually arrived in Los Angeles, but the fact is, they're thriving in the city like so many other transplants. All right, L.A., it's been a minute.